Hey YouTube. I hadn't made a video in about a week, I don't think. Uh, just gonna do a little update on the uh, Midnight Solar Kid and the uh, Ames Inverter. Um, pure sign, low frequency. Uh, so far, it's doing good. I've, I've still, I, I did learn, I'm still learning a lot about it. Um, I, my batteries were just staying, you know, just perfect. No problems and all that. And it, it finally, I caught it. Uh, this uh, inverter was uh, charging the batteries also, which I knew it would do it. I just didn't really think about it. So what I had to do is uh, cut the AC power off to it uh, so it would uh, not be charging my batteries all the time because that's kind of counterproductive. I'm using AC power to power the batteries, you know, charge the batteries. Uh, you know, I'm wanting my, <laughs> I want this to charge the batteries. Uh, I mean, it's great on, you know, rainy days and stuff like that, knowing I can, you know, keep my batteries topped off, don't get me wrong, but that's not the point of the whole system. The point is the, uh, lent the, uh, solar charge batteries. Uh, another little update, I have a, bought a shunt and a, uh, Whizbang Junior, and I have that tied in, and that does change the way it charges your batteries. And uh, opens up options. I was looking for the buttons there. So right now it's getting afternoon. You know, it's just barely getting this little bit of sunlight. Uh, but at the same time, the batteries aren't too bad. See, it's only 66 volts. Oh, just popped up 95. Must be a little cloud. All right, now I have the uh, temperature sensor hooked up. The Whizbang Junior. And it's showing me that uh, I have 174 amp hours remaining in the batteries. They're at 92%, uh, which is good. And this is something I really can't find any information on. I hadn't called Midnight Solar, uh, but it don't talk about it in the book. It don't talk about it in the instruction manual for the Whizbang Junior. Uh, but anyway, I'm assuming 0.3 kilowatt hours is what I'm using. Amp hours, to be honest, I'm really not sure what that number is. So, any of you solar people out there, somebody can shed light, some light on that, I would appreciate it, because it, it does change every day. I don't know if that's how much I've used, how much is being charged, I really don't know. Uh, and there's no information about it. So, anyway, just kind of curious about that. But the little green light means my batteries have been charged, topped off within the last week. Um, let me back up. Back up. Okay. Like I say, it's, it's kind of getting evening. There's not a lot of sunlight out there, but uh, the battery's in pretty good shape. Right at 51 volts. Be nice if it's a little bit more than that, but not terrible. But anyway, still learning, still trying to figure all this out. Um, but so far, I'm very, very happy. Um, okay. My memory card got full. I had to start over again after I <laughs> removed some things. Uh, anyhow, what I said, what I was about to say before the camera got off was uh, I need to change the angle of my solar panels. They're really laid back right now because when I at first installed them, it was summertime. And uh, it's surprising how different the sun, where it's at in the wintertime and summertime, the drastic difference it is. I mean, I, I, mean, I kind of knew it, but I didn't realize how much it really was. Uh, so when I put them in, you know, I got them laid down like this, which was great for the time I put them in. But for the wintertime, they really need to be like this. Uh, a, a big difference. And so I'm going to come up with some kind of adjustable uh, system to tilt them up in the wintertime so I can get a lot more power out of them. I know right now I'm really not taking advantage of what I could be getting out of them. So I'm going to work on that and uh, a few other things. But anyway, and maybe maybe clean this wiring up, put a, you know, some kind of a conduit on it or something to make it look a little nicer. Uh, not that I really give a damn, but 
it might look nicer for the YouTube videos because they're like, my God, look at that you know, bird nest there. But anyway, uh, later YouTube. Take it easy.